guys it's your boy burgers kicks back again um in this video i'm doing a follow-up video to my first uh phantom like cookie guide this is like an updated video something i found that works better and yeah in the first video i talked about how you spam the site and stuff like that which i was not aware that phantom doesn't get rid of like duplicate cookies so if you spam it it makes it like you get a lot of dupes so they just don't work they're kind of worthless um, this method that I found, it does does it a lot slower, so hopefully, like, you get less dupes. Um, yeah, so basically here, you have, obviously, Ryan needs to supply. We have Phantom open, and Cookie Harvester open, we're at zero. Basically, you go up here, turn your ghost cookies on, blah, blah, blah. We're still going to be using the iNinja VPN, just because it's a good proxy switcher, and you don't, really, you don't have to put your own proxies in. It's super easy to do. So... Basically, the only thing I've changed was instead of, like, spam clicking, refreshing, spam clicking, what I've done is I've downloaded an auto-clicker, like, just a free one off Google, and I set the auto-clicker to click every 10 seconds. So, I'll here, I'll show you that right now. Like, I downloaded an auto-clicker. I'll leave a link for this in the description. So, basically... You can like downsize this, leave your cookies up, and then what I did was, I said repeat until stopped, and I would leave it at 10 seconds, and then I would just start it, and then it probably won't show like the cookies, because you know, downsized it, but if I left this, like if you're doing something, you can leave it for an hour, and then you can use your home IP, and then switch like once you stop getting cookies, what I recommended was switching every like two minutes which would be every like you know 12 clicks because then like that way most of the time you get 10 to 12 or 10 to 20 like cookies per IP like if the IP is good so like if you do it every two minutes switch the IP that will be hopefully 12 cookies so it's not like too much and it's not too little so yeah if you leave that for an hour you're hopefully gonna get 360 cookies which you know an hour is not long considering you could be you can let this go while setting up other bots or while doing other things. So you basically just leave this. What I did yesterday when I was doing it was like I was playing, I think I was playing Madden. And I just set this on, let the auto click, click. And then like once you see the page like stop refreshing, it'll click and it'll refresh. That's when you want to turn on like the, the VPN. If it wants to turn on. And then you just refresh it yourself. So you like refresh and get the VPN back. And then you can just leave the auto clicker like going and see how it refreshes. That means it's getting cookies. So like as you see, let me pull up the cookie guide. As you can see, we're already at seven. And like I'm going slow, so hopefully none of these are dupes. I personally don't have a way to check. I know you could go through the Excel like spreadsheet, but I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna hope, you know, every ten seconds it's not pulling a dupe. I did do this this morning. And I was able to get through on Phantom, and I was able to check out a size 4, as you'll see in my video that I posted in my live cop. But, um, yeah, this method works, I think. It's it's quick, you don't have to use your own proxies, like you don't have to use data. And, yeah, hopefully it ensures that you don't get duplicate cookies, because the last video I sort of misinformed people because I was not aware that Phantom did that. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this helps you guys. I would personally use this method over the first method that I posted just because of the whole duplicate cookies and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this should ensure though that like either get way less or like none at all. And I tested it yesterday myself when I was informed that like you got dupes. So I tested like three different methods. I tested my spam click, did like 20 tasks or 10 tasks or 20 uh, cookies and only two of them got to completing order. Or only two of them got to uh, payment refuse. The others were like stuck on completing order. And then I tested again with like slowing it down and doing a click like every three seconds. And I got to like six completing orders or six payment failed rest for completing orders out of 10 tasks, which isn't bad. And then I tested again doing this every 10 seconds and I got nine out of 10 payment failed. So that means nine of those, like those cookies were good. They weren't dupes, they were all good besides like the one. But yeah, I mean, it's just going to happen with cookies. So yeah, if you generate like enough, you should be fine. Like I had 200 cookies, which I didn't run for the full hour. So yeah, hope this video helps you guys. And it's your boy Burger signing off. Peace.